I saw an article in New York Magazine with Angie, and it was more about her online advice column for undocumented youth. And I just thought it was really incredible because it highlighted issues of day-to-day -day living as undocumented that I had never thought about. And so I contacted her and wanted to do a small film, um, like a short film about that, about her advice column. And we met for lunch, and within a few months of just spending time with her and her mother, and then she also came out about the sexual assault during that time, um, we knew it was gonna be actually a bigger story. I was used to having more like five second interviews and like really short scripted messages like that, but having a whole documentary uh, filmed for two years, it was very different. This is more than a legalization struggle, but a psychological war that measures character and patience. They want to see who will break down first. My mom raised me in an environment where speaking out about your status is wrong. She taught me the same fear. No le digas a nadie, she would say. Don't tell anyone. There was a lot of, of secrets that I let out, a lot of crying on camera, and a lot of just opening my family and myself up for, for this film. I had come out as undocumented in 2010, and it was mostly because I knew that I needed to speak out for myself and organize in my community and stop being afraid. And when we did, when we started filming this project, um, I think I decided to continue pursuing it because I wanted to show a different story. I wanted to show a story of, of immigrant women, of sexual assault, of, of being undocumented, of our different realities, and, and I wanted to make sure that it reached other people that might be in the same situation as me and who might have never seen themselves reflected in any of the other stories that were out there. And those were motivating factors for me. My favorite part about all this has been all the amazing people that I've met at the screenings and in the community. I've met um, really brave, undocumented people, people who shared with me so many personal stories that they've never told anybody else. Um, I've had people come up to me and tell me that the film inspired them to seek out help, uh, to get uh, lawyers involved, to leave an abusive household or abusive relationship, or recognize that what they experienced was abuse and, and being okay with coming forward with it. So it's been um, an emotional experience, I think, to be able to connect with people in that way.